So at the moment of apply, if shift is held, you will basically be able to shift a shape to live, just like you see me do here. If we were to delete the shape and start over, we could draw a shape, press B to bevel, and then from here, before the apply process, we could hold shift in order to keep it live and go in edit mode and select these various edges and press Q, unmark them, basically isolating the bevel to just this one edge. So sometimes shift to live can come in handy for a variety of situations, but one of the most basic ones is to simply go and use Ngon and bevel it and find yourself needing to adjust the points in a fine manner in order to get a different type of bevel. So here I am just drawing an Ngon. We'll grab that last point. We'll press B in order to bevel. And after we get it to a certain amount, we can extrude it forward. And let's just hold shift while clicking to keep the shape live. And I'm going to just select various edges and using hard ops bevel weight, under mark, I can just hold alt and click mark in order to lower the bevel weight of the selection for this particular area. And what this means is that now I'm able to increase the bevel for some of these other areas. So this is something that can be used sparingly, but does require a little bit of finesse in order to get it to work right because all the bevels are playing off at the same level. If we don't have a certain amount of lenience around, we can't get to some of these larger widths. So for example, because all the with all the weight has been lowered on some of the closer segments, we're able to roll up to a larger segment count and a larger distance for some of these larger bevels. So sometimes shift alive can come in very handy for times where you want to just take the shape into its own and make modifications to it. For example, I'm now cutting on the cutter itself, which basically gives me a rather interesting result.